Hello, today I'm going to show you how to create these puzzle pieces. Let's open a new document, get rid of the stroke and change the fill to a bright color. Now press the letter M for the rectangle tool or select it from the toolbar panel and single click on the artboard. I'm going to set the width and the height to 300 pixels. Click away to deselect. Next, we will create the connecting part that will look like this. First, switch to the ellipse tool, change the color, zoom in on this part and draw a small ellipse. Select everything and let's lock these two shapes to prevent them from moving. You can either press the control and number two keys on your keyboard or open the sublayers in layer one and lock them. Next, we'll create a shape that connects the ellipse with the rectangle. There are many ways to do it. Today I'm going to use the pen tool. Press the letter P for the pen tool, choose a different color and draw a shape similar to this one. Start in the center of this guide, then draw a straight line, another straight line, then a curved line to connect it with the ellipse and finish it at the beginning. Try to create a nice curve where the two puzzle pieces will come together. When you are done, select the shape, then press the letter O for the Reflect tool and while you are holding down the Alt key, click on this intersection to set the Reflect point. Choose the vertical axis and click Copy. Select everything and press the Ctrl, Alt and number 2 keys on your keyboard to unlock all layers. Next, select the ellipse and the two pink shapes, then go to Pathfinder and choose Unite. Select the top shape and rotate it by 180 degrees. Just hover your mouse over one of the corners and while you are holding down the Shift key, move your mouse down. This will rotate the object by 45 degree increments. Let's scale it down a bit. Select both shapes. Open the Align panel. Make sure Align to Selection is checked and choose Horizontal Align Center and Vertical Align Top. Now select the top shape and copy it to the bottom. Rotate it by 180 degrees and make sure it is aligned with the bottom edge of the square. Next, select both shapes. Press the Ctrl and C buttons on your keyboard to copy it and Ctrl F to paste it in front. Now rotate it by 90 degrees. Let's select everything and move it down to this corner. And we are ready to create our puzzle pieces. Let's select everything, create a copy and move it to the top left corner. With the top piece still selected, press the Shift and M keys on your keyboard to switch to the Shape Builder tool. I would recommend to memorize this shortcut as we will be using it a lot. Now pick a color of your choice and click, hold and drag across the square and the top two shapes to connect them into one shape. Click away to deselect and then copy the bottom piece and place it next to the top one. Make sure they bound together so there is no gaps between the two squares. Also make sure snapping is enabled. 
Now select everything and press the Shift M to switch to the Shape Builder tool again. Choose another color and build another piece. And like before, select everything, switch to the Shape Builder tool and keep connecting the other pieces together. To get a sample of the existing color, first click away to deselect and then using the eyedropper tool click on a desired color. And repeat the same process with the other pieces until you fill up the whole artboard. Be creative and have fun. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.